Little Trailers. My name is Tristan and today I'm going to talk about our new trailer, the Two Place Canoe or Kayak Urban Paddler Trailer. First I'm going to go over the dimensions and specifications of the trailer and I'm going to show you how we break it down so you can store it in your garage. This trailer comes standard with a two inch coupler, an optional jack stand with wheel, a uh, six foot tongue, or you can buy an optional eight foot tongue if you need it. The canoe rack is 76 inches uh, wide here. It has uh, a rubber canoe guard that is riveted on here to protect your canoes or kayaks when you're securing them to the rack. The front rack is uh, adjustable. Just loosen up the nuts here and you can move it along the tongue up to the vehicle or to the rear to the trailer. Um, the trailer is made of hot dip galvanized steel Four feet wide by five feet long is the size of the trailer. Uh, from fender to fender, it's 70 inches. It comes with a 500 pound Tour Flex axle, which is going to give you the best ride for your canoes and kayaks once you have them on the trailer. It comes with 12 inch tires and a hot dip galvanized rim, LED lighting. what we have in this trailer and on this one you'll also see an optional spare tire uh, again a 12 inch tire on a hot dip galvanized rim this trailer weighs uh, approximately 275 pounds okay now I'm going to break down this trailer and I'm going to store it in our rack so uh, you can save space in your garage okay you want to position yourself at the front of the trailer first up you're going to pull your pin out, slides right out real easy, and you just lift straight up on the rack, slides right out. Real simple. We'll set it off to the side. We're going to do the same thing with the rear rack. Again, same pin system. Slides right out, slides right out, and then we're going to lift up, pull this rack off. Next, we're going to take off the tongue. First step is, is you're going to disconnect the wiring system. It's a flat fork connector, so you're just going to unplug it real quick. Snaps out like that. Take this wire, tuck it in the tongue. So whenever it comes down, it doesn't pinch uh, that wiring against the ground. So you have a, two pins here in the tongue. They each have a cotter pin. You want to pull it out real quick, just like that, real easy. You want to go up, pull out the front one first, slides right out. Here's the pin we have for this. Then you're going to do the rear pin. Again, it slides right out, lower to the ground here, nice and slow. Just let that tongue sit on the ground. Boom. Your tongue's disconnected. Pick up the trailer frame. You're going to wheel it over to the rack here. You're going to line up the, uh, the back tube here. You're going to set it in our stand. Push it up, take our chain with D-ring, wrap it around, clip it on, just like that. Your trailer is mounted up against the wall, saves space, comes out approximately 26 inches from the wall. So if you're needing some, uh, you have tight garage space, this is how you do it, it's that easy.